and we're gonna be visiting together and I got some water <coughs> water to stay hydrated because I'm really dehydrated and I also got some mandarin oranges mandarin oranges because we gotta get that vitamin C in our system now was my boyfriend at the time but when I was living in a two-bedroom apartment with my sister and my daughter my husband boyfriend at the time was out of states and he was on his job for more than I mean for about three months so <clears throat> So, um, I was renting a two-bedroom apartment. It was a nice, clean apartment, but it was very, very, very secluded. It was out in KGB area, and I don't know how many miles it was out, but the farther you drive out to KGB and the farther you go down the road, it's more secluded so um at our part at that apartment i had some creepy stuff happen and i will tell you in this story time so um this one morning it was just an ordinary morning it was nothing um scary happening or anything no loud noises and um in this area it was very very quiet mm. excuse me the area was very quiet so secluded that you would barely hear anything or cars passing by so when you were in the home it's just you your thoughts your at my time my sister and my daughter's company they were sleeping this one morning and I decided to get up early and I decided to clean and I turned on some music and I remember it playing in the background while I was cleaning I went to the dishes area and when you come to my kitchen area to, for the dishes I can see a window which you can see outside and right onto the right um, there was a little cabinet and underneath that cabinet was a light switch and um, right on top of me was the light perfectly around where I was standing and I was doing uh, the dishes and um, all of a sudden i started to get this weird uneasy feeling i don't know if it was because i was up alone or what it was but i started to get this uneasy weird feeling like i wasn't alone like i mean i mean in a sense of there was more like something just there like a present was like just there it's unexplainable but I would shrug it off and I'm like, I'm scared for no reason. I don't know why I'm scared. My sister and them were in my daughter was in the bedroom. And I remember my um, 
radio and whatever I was listening to started to um, make static noises and all of a sudden like um, make weird noises like and then all of a sudden get good again play again and then it would do that like like static noise and I would just shrug that off as well and I just started to do my thing I just started to do my chores my dishes and all of a sudden in the middle of the freaking morning when I was doing my chores just an ordinary day the um light switch above me turned on it turned on and I got the chills I got the chills I was like what in the world did that just happen and me being in denial thought it would be my sister or my daughter so I went to go check in that little apartment over towards my um right by my bathroom there was my door I mean my room and over here was my sister and my daughter's room and then the laundry room it was quite small but cozy um I went in and I thought it would be them and I was like, I yelled at them and I'm like, was that you guys? Tracy. I mean, you know, I yelled their names and I was like, was that you guys? Did you guys turn on the light? Are you guys awake? And they were like knocked out, totally asleep, in deep sleep. They didn't budge at all. And I just because even though I kind of knew my lights, I did it again. So I was wondering if they could like have gotten up and turned on the light by by themselves and then went back to sleep and like trying to prank me or something or try to play with me but there there was no other switches and the only switch that was with um the only switch that was um able to turn that light on that was right above me was that switch on the right and it turned on right in front of my eyes and that really creeped me out and that still gives me the chills um and it wasn't my sister it wasn't my daughter and um yeah that was one of the weird things that happened that morning um and in general right after we moved in i would notice a weird smell it would like smell like burnt old fish with like metal that's like a weird smell i would only smell like underneath the attic where and also in the hallway between my bathroom and my laundry room that space area really smelled weird i always wondered what it was i asked my sister if she smelt it and um i remember her smelling just a little and it was kind of weird would always try to figure what it was we never figured out what it was to this day but what was really creepy is that there was the attic right on right on um up by the laundry and right when you can when you look right by the laundry door there's an attic and we never went in or we never opened it because we just thought it was weird and creepy and <clears throat> excuse me And another thing, excuse me, another thing is that we never barely heard the neighbors next door. It was like a fourplex, but the neighbors across from us, we were on the top, were never home because they were always at work. And remember, it's really secluded out there. And downstairs, um, it was just, it just gave me and my sister the creeps. Um, there was this guy, he would, um, have like delusions and he would tell us like different kind of weird stories and we would just try to be nice and nod our heads but every time we passed would always think he was strange and he always had a 
um, weird story to tell us, but that also kind of creeped us out. Um, and um, also, I had to stay majority of the time over at that area in my secluded apartment all the way up in KGB because I was the one working. I was the one working and my husband now, my boyfriend then, um, which is my husband now, was out of states um, about three months. And then my sister and my daughter would come here to Anchorage and stay with my auntie. So I would be alone and at the time we had our cat jelly bean. Um, um, our, my cat jelly bean um, was with me that one night i don't know why i turned off all of the lights but i was a single mother at the time so i would try to um preserve my lights you know bills because we have bills to pay uh, i had bills to pay and um so i would turn off i turned off this one night i turned off all the lights my bathroom the um, laundry room everywhere in my living room the only thing that was on in my apartment was um my my um tv in my bedroom and my cat was there and artemis artemis sorry that was my dog i he was gonna mess up the clothes the clean clothes that were in the closet so i had to sorry about that uh, anyways um everything was off in my apartment and the only thing on was my um tv in my room and i had my cat with me and um my cat was acting weird and all of a sudden it did a really um <clears throat> my cat did a really big jerk and it looked straight out to my door. I had my door open and everything was dark and all you could see was dark out there. And I got so scared and I got my blanket and covered myself and I'm like... <laughs> and that was um, what freaks me out because you know that animals could sense spirits. And they act weird when they sense a spirit or something happening. And that's what I like about cats and dogs but anyways so that's the creepy thing that happened to me over at my secluded apartment all the way up in KGB when I used to live in Wasilla and um I have more um paranormal or scary stories whatever you want to call them um to tell but I know that I'll make more of these story times later on in the future whenever but thank you <clears throat> thank you so much for watching my forget-me-nots sleeping lady here asmr i hope you stay hydrated and um have a lot of vitamin C, have your vitamins, 